Open Sci-Ed, Lesson 2, Experience at Mount Everest, Student Video. A photo shows a man standing in the foothills of mountains at a research box. My name is John Kudrowski. I'm a ski mountaineer, an expedition guide, and a professor of geography, weather, and climate. And I was visiting Nepal on a climbing expedition to Mount Everest and its neighbor, Lhotse, the fourth highest mountain in the world. And so we were in the base camp of Mount Everest along the Khumbu Glacier. And on April 25th that year, I was having lunch in the dining tent. Photos of bright yellow tents on the dark rocks before icy mountain peaks. I was on a rest day from going up and down the mountain. And suddenly the water that I had on at the table kind of was rippling. And, we, and there was a vibration. And we thought maybe it was just some surrounding rock fall and that the glacier was shifting. And then when we walked outside, we realized it was a big earthquake and it went on for several minutes. And it actually felt like I was on a boat. There was rocking back yeah. and forth of the rocks and a lot of, lot of uh, sort of grinding of the rocks and the ice and, and, and this big shaking that just went on for two minutes. And I looked at my friend and climbing partner, Arnold Coster, and said, man, this is, this is insane. This is crazy. This is a big earthquake. <laughs> and, and he sort of was standing there too, just like in, in awe of what was going on around us. Photos now show the tents crumpled under stones and ice. climb down expanses of snow and ice. A lot of people ask me, were you scared? And I, no, I thought it was like, whoa, like I'd never been in that big of an earthquake. I'd been in one other earthquake when I was younger. Here in Colorado, there was like a 4.0 during football practice when I was in middle school. But that was the last time I'd felt an earthquake. And this one was twice as strong. So I stayed, uh, helped in the lower valleys with some other um, earthquake relief efforts, and then it was hired by a, a U.S. Geological Survey to go in and collect some earthquake data from a site that was near Namchi Bazaar, a village at 12,000 feet in the Himalayas. And this seismograph box had a seismograph measuring tools in the ground and a GPS that was pointed at the mountain to try to measure any sort of movements. John opens the white research box labeled Seismic Monitoring Equipment. Nice! Whoa, we're in! Nice. Got this. All right. Well, now we just have to download the data and we have some time this morning. The weather's beautiful and we're going to find out what this earthquake is all about. The video ends. Open Syed.